YouTube, what up? It's your boy Big Reed here back live with another one. For no days on. All right, everybody. We just finishing up for the day, man. We got um, just got everybody put up, getting ready to feed these hounds, man. And decided I'd drop in and drop a quick vid, man. But today's topic, we're gonna retouch on temperament again. All right. I know I didn't cover this in past videos. I know I just did, I think, like two videos on it. But we're going to touch on it again. All right? Well, kind of sum it up. All right. First thing first, man, you as the owner play a big role in the temperament of your dog, of your hound. You know what I'm saying? Genetics plays a part too. Yes, it does. Genetic plays a big part. But also you as the owner, it's like I tell people all the time, it's just like raising a child, man. The thing about training a dog, consistency is key. Understand you have to be consistent in your training. If you if you don't like your dog doing something, don't allow the dog to do it. Correct the dog every time. Don't let it do it one time, then get away with it three times, then correct him one time, then let it go with it five. You're confusing the dog. He's not going to take you serious. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand. And, and as y'all can see right now, all these pups are still here. All these pups, they're, they're, in, they're in here. I mean, they're, they're, as far as their temperament, it starts here. It starts here. This this way it starts here. You know what I'm saying? Even from the training and all, everything starts here because even amongst themselves, they're only going to tolerate so much from each other. Like dogs, also they learn from each other. You know what I'm saying? The environment also plays a factor on the dog. You know what I'm saying? Energy level. I mean, in, uh, environment plays a factor on the temperament. Energy level plays. I mean, it's a whole bunch of factors to this man that a lot of people are not understanding. I mean. Yes, dogs have triggers, just like humans. Certain dogs are not going to tolerate certain things. I mean, it's, it's just who they are. I mean, but also, over you you as the owner, you're supposed to be the alpha. I know a lot of people don't believe in that alpha thing and all that, but I do. And I am the alpha on my yards. My dogs, they, they learn from an early age what I'm going to tolerate and what I'm not going to tolerate. I, you know, yeah, you, you must create disciplinary measures for your dog you know what i'm saying you must find ways to discipline your dogs to where they know okay i messed up i mean with my dogs the my main disciplinary method is is everybody coming out and you not being able to come out and play with everybody they howl they whine they cry they bark i mean i even have them to the point where they turn up they attack the dog house they turn over the water they throw a big tantrum just like a child would. When you take the TV or the video game or whatever from them, they understand. If my dogs do something wrong, the thing y'all will hear me say in my video is, eh, it, it, that's a correction. That's a correction thing. Get that attention. Okay, you're not doing something. You're doing something wrong. But, I mean, you, you have to work with the animal. Yes, some dogs take longer to train than other dogs. I mean, that's it. That's why I say some all dogs don't have the same intelligence level. I mean, just and you got some dogs. I have some like Zena. It took me a while. Oh man, it took me a minute to get Zena. Zena's the smallest dog in my yard. She's a pocket, but Zena's an asshole. Excuse my French. Zena's a complete asshole. <laughs> I mean. Zena has a very bad Napoleon complex to where she feels like she has to assert herself. Zena has been shooken up. Zena's been, I'm telling you, Zena's, she's been attacked a couple times, but it was her fault because she, she likes to bite other dogs. But it took a minute, but now she's getting to the point. But like I said, her and Scarlett don't like each other, period. But they don't, well, well, I have them out amongst each other when I'm out. But if Scarlett got the chance that she really, really wanted, Scarlett would tell Zena a new one. 
But you know, I don't tolerate that. So when they're out, they they kind of see each other and they go separate ways. But as far as like dog aggression, human aggression, yes, some breeds of dog are more human aggressive. Some breeds of dog are more dog aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Just like when the females come in the heat, you mean you have some male dogs you can't have around other male dogs. Hell, I didn't even see the way you can't have some male dogs around other female dogs. I mean, they they go absolute, absolutely ballistic when a female comes in the heat. But like I said, they're individuals though. All their temperaments are different, and I know a lot of, a lot of stigma was put on bull breeds about this and that. And I tell y'all like this, man, the meanest dog. I've ever had was a mutt. I mean, a pure mutt. I said it in one of my old videos. I got it from my grandfather. I mean, he was a um, chow, chow, chow mixed with a coon hound. Just, I mean, just a mutt. And, and that dog, he, he, his temperament was awful. He was dog aggressive as shit. Like he would, he would sit there and whine and cry because I wouldn't let him go attack another dog. But. Like I said, I train my dogs. I let my dogs know what I'm going to tolerate and what I'm not going to tolerate. You know what I'm saying? You, you have people. I know y'all seen the shows, man, with uh, um, where they rehab the the the, the, the so-called game dogs, and they rehab them and they put them into um homes. To where they in there with other dogs, you know what I mean? Some of them you can't put back with other dogs, and some of them you can. But like I guess it starts with you as the owner. Yes, you're gonna have accidents. I have, I've had kennel accidents. I mean, I mean, but I think I was up to thirty dogs at one time. I've downsized, but I've had kennel accidents, male and female. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time. It's your job as the owner to learn the temperament of your dog. It's your job as the owner to train your dog. You know what I'm saying? When I say train your dog, it's just like what you, like I, I would say again and again, it's just like with your child, man. You let the dog know what you're going to tolerate and what you're not going to tolerate. Yes, all of them are different. Like I said, you have some dogs that they don't get it the first time. They might not get it the hundredth time. You know what I'm saying? You, like I said, you have some dogs, they're complete buttholes. Introductions to the pups, you guys. Let me show y'all who's who. Let me see. That in the corner right there, that's Spike. That's the male. That's the, where's the rent. Behind him is Lady, female. She's the she's the noise maker. Lady will actually talk to you. Sitting here, um, stretching her butt. That's Pinky. Besides Pinky. There's heaven. Top, that's your girl, man. Right here, that's pretty boy Mitch. Um, AKA Howler. <laughs> All he do is bark. <laughs> Back behind him. That's Zena. She down there. She doing something. She ain't got no business. But behind him, right here, that big male back there, that's Chop. And hiding down here in this corner, it sucks. These are the pups off of Pepper and Jug. I think right now they're, what, 14 weeks old? And he's looking at Zena down there doing something. She ain't got no business. She, 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 she and he, her and Pepper both in heat. But, um, that's an introduction to the crew, man. But like I said, as far as temperament, man, there's a lot of people that, that really shouldn't. I mean, I'm saying it myself. There's a lot of people that really shouldn't own dogs. And, yeah, some dogs are harder to train than others. I mean, you have dogs that are bred for for specific reason. So, yes, genetics does play, play a part in it. But that's why you see those, the Malinois, the German Shepherds, the dogs that are trained. They're, they're constantly being trained. They're constantly being trained. And the old guys are saying they still have accidents. 
But at the same time, you try to keep them to a minimum. But like I said, my thing is I never put, I try not to never put my dog in a situation that I cannot control. I try my hardest to. Certain dogs on my yard, I do not take out in public. And people are like, you all, you all the socialize your dog. Okay, I mean, that's just like with me. I don't like being in big crowds. You, like I said, you have dogs that have anxiety. I mean, it's it's kind of the same thing as us, man. And like I said, a lot of people should not own dogs because a lot of people don't understand dogs. And they, they try to label certain breeds. And most of the time when it happened to the, with these accidents, it's the owner's fault because they don't know their animal. I mean, and that's just, that's just the just of it. I mean, they, they try to blame everything on the dog when it's the owner's fault. I mean, you, you, you failed your animal. Like, I know what dogs I can take out in public and what dogs I can't take. Scarlet is one of the most gentle, sweetest dogs on my yard. When I when we get new pups or older pups and they come out here, they go in the pen with Scarlet. Just like Izzy, well, it's Izzy right there. I'm going to feed you. Why you sitting over there eyeballing me like that? But they're going out. But would I take Scarlet out in public? No. No, I would not. Because Scarlet has, Scarlet, I wouldn't say human aggressive. She has trust issues with humans. She, she's not the friendliest, friendliest of dogs. So I'm not going to put her in that situation. Hank, I done took Hank out in public. Thor, Thor loves people. I'll take Thor out of public. I mean, it's just certain dogs that I'm not, I'm not going to put in that situation. I mean, but like I said, it, it's training, man. You have to train your dogs. You have to train your animals. You, you, you have to, they look to you for guidance. I mean, so that's, as an owner of, if that's your job, is raise a good citizen for a pet. I mean, but your job is to protect them too. I mean, whether you have a protection dog or whatever, but your job is to protect them too. So temperament, there's, there's a whole lot of factors that goes into the temperament of a dog, man. You just can't blame the dog. You just can't blame the dog's temperament on his pedigree. I mean, that that it don't work. It's a lot of factors that go into that. But, man, so man we, we been off of me. I got to get up and feed these hounds, man. But like I said, until the next video, you guys, peace.